As with the Cambrian period, alien is still the word that best describes the life and landforms of the Ordovician and Silurian periods. The approximately 75 million years of the Ordovician and Silurian periods found the continent that would become North America, still located right near the equator, rotated on its side by about 90 degrees. Colorado itself was just south of the equator. As time passed through the Ordovician and Silurian periods, Colorado slid slowly eastwards and slightly north. The continent itself gradually rotated counterclockwise as shallow seas watched back and forth across its shoulders, depositing limestones, dolomites, and sandstones. Ordovician and Silurian aged fossils are a time similar to those of the Cambrian period. However, there was a marked increase in the variety of life forms during the Ordovician period. Several arthropods, brachiopods, echinoderms, and nautiloids stopped rooting about in the muck at the sea floor and started floating and swimming in the water above. Most Ordovician aged rocks in Colorado are buried deep underground. When they are found at the surface, they're usually situated on top of Cambrian aged rocks in the same locations as their older predecessors. The innovation didn't stop with the end of the Ordovician period, and life forms of the Silurian period continued to experiment. The rocks of the Silurian period actually contain the first clear fossil evidence of life on land. These terrestrial life forms were mostly plant-based, the most notable of which are the first fossils of so-called vascular plants, plants with a system dedicated to transportation of nutrients, minerals, and water. While Ordovician aged rocks are hard to find, Silurian aged exposures are actually non-existent. In fact, until the mid-1970s, it was thought that there were no rocks deposited in Colorado during the Silurian period at all. This implied that Colorado itself was above the surface of the equatorial oceans. In 1976, in an area of the Front Range along the Wyoming border, that thinking changed. Blocks of limestone, a rock type deposited in warm, shallow seas, were found contained within a special type of volcanic rock called kimberlite. These limestone blocks contained fossils that were Silurian in age. This unquestioningly confirms that Silurian seas did, in fact, find their way to inundating at least a small corner of the state. During the Ordovician and Silurian periods, the evolution of life and the landscape of Colorado pressed inexorably forward. The future North American continent slowly drifted through the tropics, and while the rocks of these periods don't contribute much to Colorado's daily vistas, they certainly help to tell the geologic story of North America and Colorado as well. <laughs>